middle of the road you see the darndest things like fat guys riding around in jeeps through the city wearing big diamond rings and silk suits <laughs> the lyrics to the song are, are some of the best i think in uh, in the rock and roll world thanks for stopping by today let's uh, look at this song i there's a couple things about it that aren't immediately obvious it's worth learning some of the details so let's do that let's look at this main riff one thing I should mention is that the low E string is tuned down to D. Um, and you don't have to do that if you don't want, but that's the way it is in the record. And it goes like this. See, so the first lick is... That's uh, one, three, five, right? Like, you know, a triad. And then to the open D. So one on the A string, one, four, two on the D string, and then open. Then on the uh, low E string, which is now tuned to D, fifth fret, fourth fret, open. Got that? Then we do another triad. go to the seventh there just as we did so this time we're on the D string got that one four two on the G string open on the G string then three two one on the A so that's the whole riff and when you play those uh, opening chords, you're going to have to use a different, uh, because of the detuned uh, low string, you're going to have to play it like this. Um, that's just power chords on the 7th fret, 5th fret, and 2nd fret. And then if you want, you can add these those high strings up there which is just the uh, fourth fret on the on the G string and fifth fret on the B string another thing we need to talk about is how Robbie McIntosh uh, switches from playing with his fingers to using a pick midway through the solo and he does that by tucking the pick in you know his fingers like this I don't do that what I do <laughs> I, it's just a habit I've had uh, for years. I, I just put the pick in my mouth because I might want to use all the fingers in my right hand. Uh, and if you have your pick tucked away like that, that's pretty much impossible to do. Another thing you can do is just use the fingers, just hold your pick like normally and just, if you want to get the same sound that Robbie McIntosh is using. That, you know, that it is very different. It's a very different sound when you're playing with pick and when you're not. I'll show you. One of the main licks in this thing is. That's played with the pick. Without a pick, it's like this. Uh, it's a different sound. But you can get a very similar sound to that by holding the pick and just using your middle and ring fingers like which is what I end up doing most of the time so I don't have to mess with the you know putting the pick <laughs> in my mouth you can always do that but Robbie McIntosh he tucks the pick in his uh, hand like that and uh, that works too uh, I don't know that I play exactly what's on the record and uh, honestly Robbie McIntosh if you watch him live he didn't always play exactly what's on the record and later after he quit the band after he was no longer in the band the guitar player they had didn't play anything remotely like what Robbie McIntosh played he played his, a solo in his style with a pick I, I suggest you try to make the solo your own even if you want to play the main licks which is what I'm going to show you how to do um, so main licks it starts off with a slide up 
to this uh, E triad on the ninth fret. Uh, it's uh, ninth fret on the uh, D string, E string, and D string. And then hit these two open uh, strings, the E and the uh, B. Okay. Then this this uh, the way you get into the the verse itself is with this thing. Bending this uh, eighth fret on the G string up a half step while holding on to this eighth fret on the B string. Some kind of a phrase to to end that with. I don't play the same thing every single time. But this I do play pretty much every time. This thing. It's just a, a quarter bend on the uh, G string fifth fret. And then seventh fret, D string, seventh fret, A string. It starts off uh, at a slower tempo and then picks up and then uh, something like okay then he, he untucks his pick and this lick this fast lick comes along and that repeats uh, cycles through several times it's a three against four uh, beat so that might take a little getting used to let me slow it down. So that's a half step bend up on the seventh fret of the G string. Pick it again on the seventh fret unbent. And then of course you can see what's, what's going on there. The next thing that comes after that is this. Those are all double stops, starting with this right here on the, uh, I mean, you can probably figure out the double stops yourself, but I'm gonna go through them. Fifth fret of the B string and the E string. Then down to this, which is the ninth fret on the G string, eighth fret on the B string. Then down to the G string and the B string on the seventh fret. 5th fret, 4th and 3rd, that down to the uh, G string and the B string on the 2nd fret, D string on the 5th fret, G string on the 4th fret, and that's the end of that, and then we go into this uh, riff this is a triad thing an a triad seventh fret on the uh, d string sixth fret on the g string fifth fret on the b string then you go up to this d triad which is those same three strings only on the they're all on the seventh fret this time and then you add you add your ring finger here on the uh, ninth fret of the D string and you add your middle finger eighth fret of the uh, B string and you kind of rock back and forth on that Now the, uh, the solo section is overdubbed and it, it doesn't have the detuned low string, it's just tuned standard. So then uh, there, there's one or two things you can't really play if you stay detuned. 
I mean, it's your choice whether you want to do tune that low string for this song or not. You can you can play it. You can play it like that. That's what I end up doing. When the rhythm guitar chords go to Robbie McIntosh plays something like. Okay, let's go through that. First of all, is that first lick is just open string to the G. And we're playing all this solo in basically the open E position. Uh, first, the first, the uh, pentatonic box down here. The e. So the first thing you hear is, and then there's this lick. And then this. And that's really, I mean, other than that, if you want to get those uh, signature licks in there, that's great. That's kind of what I do. And other than that, I just wing that, that section. There's a quiet part where she's going, where Chrissy High is counting off. One, two. And uh, during that part, Robbie McIntosh is playing something like this. Triads again, the very same triads as we saw earlier during the solo. And it sounds like he's uh, not playing with a pick. He might be playing pick and fingers like I doing right now or he might have tucked the pick again and you know be playing it like uh, with his picking fingers that's pretty much the whole song there's a harmonica solo on the outro and that's pretty much it well thanks for stopping by today and uh go ahead and subscribe hit the bell if you want and i'll see you next time